Hey everybody, I'm Kimmy. I'm here with B&M Productions and today we have Maya Rivers with us. Hello. She's a makeup artist here in Columbus and Maya, how are you? Thank you for being here with us. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I wanted to ask you about you. How did you get into makeup? What's that process like? So, I got into makeup, um, honestly, I have a cheer and dance background. Mm. So I was always around like glitter and glam and rhinestones. Okay. That was my life. So I kind of picked up on that um, art form with having to do my own makeup for like competitions and all that jazz. And it just feels like it escalated from there. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's where I pretty much started. So you said it started there. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been doing it professionally? Professionally since, okay, so there's pre-professional and there's <laughs> professional for me. Mm -hmm. So I would say pre-professional 2016 mm -hmm. and professional 2019, I went full time. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, so now you're full time yes. and you're going after. Full time what, makeup. What kind of things do you do? Um, mainly weddings and events and um, special occasion makeup. And I am really wanting to get into SFX makeup, like the zombies and all that jazz. Oh. But that's the next chapter. Yeah, okay. <laughs> speaking of the next chapter, mm -hmm. what stage do you think you are in right now, professionally speaking? Ooh, what stage? I would say intermediate level. Okay. Um, only because I haven't reached the, I guess, the ultimate goal of, you know, having a full team. I have about like three to four girls right now. So ideally in my perfect world, like I would love to have like 10 girls that I would send out and they would do events and weddings and everything fun under the sun. And um, I see my my beauty growing to have its own, uh, I just say like locations, kind of like a franchise without the building around the state. So I want to like really grow and um, I want to travel. Let's go. So from the intermediate, hopping into the future, mm -hmm. you know, having 10 girls and sending them off places, managing them, yeah. would you not be happy, like, not being hands-on with the makeup, or would you be okay taking a step back and managing people? I think I would definitely be okay managing, only because I do makeup for fun, and I think sometimes when you're on the field, you lose your... You don't lose your passion, but you're working so much, you forget how fun it is. So I think taking a step back and managing um, would be ideal for me. And I would enjoy that a lot. Nice. Yeah. Now, last question. Okay. If someone out there is interested in makeup, mm -hmm. they're picking things up, they might be in competition cheer like you, what is some good advice that you can give to them so that when they start their process, they can be as successful like you? Okay, let's see. Um... If you want to become a makeup artist, the first thing is, I'm gonna to talk to you straight in the camera. <laughs> the first thing would be getting someone in your chair, not professionally, just do anyone's makeup to first see if you like it because it's totally different um, applying on a client than applying on yourself. And another advice would be kind of figure out where you want to go with your artistry because some people are like more bold some people are soft um and so <clears throat> excuse me so that would definitely help you you know build your clientele because if they like bold or soft they can kind of determine if you're right for them so i think that's that's some pretty good gems right there i think thank you you're welcome well i think that's all the time we have for you today thank you maya everybody maya rivers she's a professional think artist here in columbus hey why don't you share with us your contact information how we can find you okay so my instagram is my oh my beauty all one word underscore and um you can also email me at my oh my beauty 19 at gmail.com Thank you so much, Maya. Thank you, Kimalis.